the rationale of it's just a game didn't quite work for these 10 edgy video games. Grand Theft Auto Rockstar's classic Grand Theft Auto series has come to be so commonly known for its brand of gratuitous and excessive violence that its content has grown more familiar than shocking. In fact, the only country to ban GTA has been typically liberal with censorship, Thailand. The ban came in 2008 when a young man named Paul Wat Chino stabbed and killed his taxi driver rather than paying the fare, later blaming the influences of GTA, which he said made killing seem easy. Ray Play To call Ray Play a 2006 3D game by Japanese developer Illusion, shocking and controversial is almost giving it too much credit. The boundary-pushing game that is as offensive as it sounds was seemingly made just to generate headlines on account of its tasteless nature. The single-player game puts you in control of an aggressive, sexual predator tasking you with stalking and bedding a mother and her two daughters by force. On top of being banned in multiple countries, the game was slapped with an AO rating in the US. Custer's Revenge Plenty of video games incorporate little subtle sexual elements to serve as a bit of titillating side entertainment, but few have been as brazen and bold-faced about it as the 1982 Atari game Custer's Revenge. Produced by Mystique, a subsidiary of an adult movie company, the smutty game puts you in the Stetson hat and not much else of a horny General Custer as he navigates the wild, wild west while sporting a pixelated boner. As Custer, you are trying to evade a barrage of arrows in order to cross the plains and, well, get down and dirty with a Native American woman who is tied to a pole. This classy game was derided by feminists and native rights activists alike and was banned in Oklahoma. Ghost Recon Advanced Warfighter 2 Tom Clancy's Ghost Recon Advanced Warfighter 2 looks like your typical first-person tactical shooter game, with nothing more offensive than any other war game, rife with lots of blood and a large body count. One group that saw the game in a decidedly different light, however, were the regional authorities in the town of Quidad Juarez, Mexico, who objected to an opening mission scene which tasked the player's tactical team with clearing out guerrillas in the city streets through elaborate firefights. The mayor of Juarez successfully convinced Mexico's governor to seize any copies of the game. Thankfully, now no one could possibly associate Juarez with any history of violence. Command and Conquer Generals The defense of it's just a game will only get you so far when you're blowing up a country's historic landmarks. That's the lesson that Electronic Arts learned when the US developer unleashed Command and Conquer Generals in 2006 as a part of the Command and Conquer series. An attempt to tap into the Asian market backfired when Chinese authorities didn't take too kindly to the game's detonation of a nuclear device in Beijing and the destruction of the iconic Three Gorges Dam. The release of Generals so incensed the Chinese government that they ordered a blanket ban on the entire series. The Guy Game Here's a fun trivia note to share with some of your gamer buddies. The Guy Game stands as the only video game to ever be banned in the entirety of the United States. The premise of the 2004 game was as simple as it was innocent, serving as a simple multi-person trivia competition. The hook, however, came in the reward, treating correct answering players with video footage of young women removing their shirts to reveal their bare chests. Although that in itself wasn't enough to initiate a ban in the States, learning that the owner of one of these bare chests was actually a 17-year-old girl certainly did. The Witcher 2, Assassins of Kings. On the surface, the whole process of The Witcher 2 being sexed down to escape full censorship in Australia makes sense. The country's government objected to sex being used as a reward for playable central character Geralt upon completion of a quest, so developer CD Projekt Red made a few minor tweaks to de-emphasize the sexual nature of the scene and earn an MA15 rating instead of a full ban. Geralt is still offered celebratory sex by a bare-chested succubus after the quest, but the game simply defaults to him declining the offer. Mass Effect When it was released in 2007, the science fiction action role-player Mass Effect 
became one of the first known games to incorporate a same-sex love scene, so you know it was going to generate at least some controversy. In fact, Singapore reacted to a scene of characters Femme Shepard and Liara Dassoni kissing and caressing in a passionate embrace by banning the game. A ban so unpopular that it was overturned within days. The ban mostly stemmed from the country's lack of any tangible rating system, so they applied the rating system of their film industry to the game and tagged it with an M18 rating. Medal of Honor Medal of Honor, the 13th installment in the popular first-person shooter series of the same name, sounds as though it would feature patriotic themes that showcase the might of the US military. So it comes as something of a surprise then that the sales of the 2010 game are actually banned on all US military bases, even though the Americans serve as the protagonists of the game. Military officials objected to the fact that gamers had the option of playing as the Taliban in the multiplayer version of the game something that developer EA argued was necessary given that the game featured two warring sides. The ban remains in effect, although military personnel can bring the game onto their base after purchasing it elsewhere if they wish. Manhunt 2 Rockstar Games went for some serious boundary pushing by delving into the world of snuff porn with Manhunt 2. Banned for sale in Germany, Ireland, New Zealand, Kuwait, Saudi Arabia, and South Korea, it was initially refused classification in the UK before Rockstar agreed to insert filters aimed at obscuring some of the gore. Well folks, did any of your favorite games make it onto our banned video games list? Let us know in the comments down below. And while you're here, check out these other videos and subscribe to The Richest for more awesome content all the time. Thanks.